Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be discussing the principles behind electrochemical cells. I'm also going to show you a video of a magnesium copper cell that I constructed in the lab. Now to start off, here I've got a magnesium sulfate solution. And obviously in this solution, we're going to have magnesium ions present. Now, what would happen if I picked up this magnesium electrode and dipped it into the solution containing Mg2 plus ions? Well, a equilibrium is set up between uh, the magnesium ions in solution and the magnesium metal. Uh, because magnesium tends to lose electrons quite easily, this equilibrium is shifted slightly more to the left, so more electrons are available which are then left behind on this magnesium electrode. This leaves the magnesium electrode uh, with an overall negative charge. Now, how does this compare to another metal such as copper? We can quite clearly see from here that magnesium is more negative than copper. And what this means for copper is that the equilibrium for copper is shifted slightly more to the right, so it likes to hang on to its electrons. Now, what you've got here is a potential difference between these two electrodes. And if we connected them electrically, we should get current flowing from the magnesium to the copper. But before we do that, we always need a salt bridge. Now what the salt bridge does is that it maintains electrical neutrality so that current can flow. So when the current flows, so we get this um, half, half reaction here taking place. So the magnesium will lose two electrons to become Mg2+, uh, so it gets oxidized. Those two electrons are then picked up by the copper ions in solution over here, and they become copper atoms, so copper gets reduced. This is a classic example of a redox reaction.